Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about setting up the development environment to start with the Selenium WebDriver automation. So in the last two tutorials, we have seen about the introduction of Selenium and the architecture of Selenium. Now let's get started with the setup of the development environment so that we can start writing our first script in Selenium WebDriver. So there are a couple of steps you need to follow to set up the uh, development environment and I'll be covering all those steps step by step so that you do not find any difficulties in setting up the development environment. So the first step is to install Java and configure the Java path. Now Java is the prerequisite um, for the Selenium web driver and needs to be installed first. So we'll go ahead and learn how to download Java and install it and then configure the Java path. So let's do first step of this development environment setup in this particular tutorial. Now to download Java, you need to simply go to google.com and simply type download Java, right? and you will find the java se downloads oracle.com click on this particular link and it will redirect you to the downloads page of java so what we are interested here is java development kit so jdk download um, click on jdk download and then scroll down you will see java se development kit 14 and you will see all the versions for different platforms available now I'm I am having Windows 64 bit OS system. So I'll be downloading Windows 64 bit how you can figure out which um, You know platform you are on so simply you can go to your uh, PC just right click if you're on Windows click on uh, properties and Under the system you will see 64 bit operating system, right? So uh, that's where you will find the information so nowadays most of the operating system you'll find is uh, windows 64-bit uh, operating system so once you confirm that uh, your platform simply go to the page again and download this exe file accept the agreement and click on download the exe file let me save this in the downloads folder and this will download the exe file once the download finishes we will start with the installation of jdk on our windows machine okay so download has finished so i'll open the exe file and just double click the exe file to start the java installation so just follow the steps uh, click on yes and it will open the windows installer click on next you don't have to do anything much here so you'll see that it will prompt about the destination folder where the installation files will go so you'll see that c program files java and then uh, jdk 14.0.1 is where your java files will be located after the installation if you want to change you can change it but um, it, it's not required so simply click on next and it will copy the files and finalize the installation once the installation is done you you have to go ahead and see the path configuration so you can see that the java development kit jdk 14 has been successfully installed on this particular machine and you can simply close this particular window okay so now if we go to the c drive and program files you should see the java folder here click on java and you can see jdk 14.0.1 is available there and if you go into bin you will see other files other exe file java exe uh, files available there right so that's the location of your java now to verify that the path is already set up for the java so we'll we'll discuss why the path environment needs to be set up for java um, so let me open the command prompt and just type in 
Java version. Okay. Now, if I type this, you know, command Java hyphen version, uh, even though Java is installed on my machine, still it is not recognized as an internal or external command. The reason for that is because when I'm executing this command, um, this command goes to the system uh, environment variable and tries to find out if there is any, you know, path set up in the environment variable which can identify where the particular Java installable are. And because there is no path set up, um, you cannot find or this command is not recognized. Now, if I move to this particular location, if I simply copy this and change the directory to this location, right? So if I just say change directory to this particular location and go to the bin directory and then run Java hyphen version, it will recognize that Java is installed and it will return the version of the Java that is installed. So that's the main reason why you should be you know setting up the environment variable because whenever there is any command that is being run on a machine the first thing it looks for um, you know is where, where that particular installer or those files are particularly located so in the windows system it looks for the environment variable uh, when you run your selenium script it basically looks for the java home and java path uh, variables where exactly uh, which Java, uh, you know, uh, version to pick up, it looks for that particular path and then um, executes your program. So because this path is not set up, we'll go ahead and set up the path, right? So to set up the path, you simply go to uh, the PC, right click, click on properties, right? And go to advanced system settings, okay? Now in advanced system settings, you will see the environment variables, okay? If you click on environment variable, here you will see system variable section below that, right? So you have the path variable already with some values there. If you click on edit, you will see the values that are present in the environment variable. There won't be any Java or JDK set up already. So that path is not set up if you look closely here so we have to set up the path variable okay so we'll simply go to the bin folder so we'll copy the path up to the bin directory and then add a new path okay so just click on new and paste this path up to the bin directory and click ok now there is another variable java underscore home that we need to set up as well now we have set up the path variable. Java home is where all these files are located. So just above, you know, the bin. So wherever JDK 14.0.1, just copy the, uh, this whole folder location and click on uh, new and provide the name as Java underscore home. Okay. And provide the value as that particular location and click on OK. So now you can see Java home has been set up here, right? And in the path variable, system variable, if you edit it, you will see that JDK, Java JDK 14.0.1 uh, slash bin has been set up. So if you click OK, click OK and OK to close all those windows. Now, if I go back, I have to close this command prompt and reopen the command prompt. Now, it doesn't matter where, which location I am at this moment. If I'll type Java hyphen version now, it will be able to recognize the Java on my machine. Okay, so that's why you need to set up the Java uh, path or system variable in Windows machine or any other. Uh, uh, machine. So, for example, Mac will cover as well how you can set up the path uh, in the Mac OS as well. So, now it doesn't matter you are on C drive or wherever, uh, it will recognize the Java that you have installed. So, that is all about 
setting up Java on your Windows machine and then setting up the path Java path for the Java installation that you have done on your machine. So that's the first step in Selenium uh, development environment setup. The next step will be to install the IDE, so integrated development environment, which will be Eclipse or IntelliJ IDEA, depending with which one you prefer. So we'll, we'll cover installing IDE in the next tutorial. So hope you like this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.